Hello, and welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall. We have finished the first mission, and uh, going on to mission two, which looks to be a more standard type of conflict than the um, the stealth mission that the first game was. Uh, I might have been... I'm not sure if I came across as sounding negative in the first part, but I just want to clarify. I actually enjoyed what that first mission was. It was just that it wasn't great for a blind let's play kind of format. In my opinion. Alright, so uh, Shakarn, Promethean, uh, Promethean Assault. We'll see if we keep any of our gear from the previous mission. Thinking about it, I guess sticking with Synthesis might have been the smartest choice because I had mods from Synthesis to make my heroes integrated. But I don't think that's going to matter too terribly much. There is no time like war, no emotion to match the thrill of battle. When our invasion fleet emerged from the void, it surged through the defenses of our enemies like a tidal wave surging through a village. Within hours, Mora Secundus fell, and so did dozens of other worlds that the Elop Confederation left so carelessly close to the Super Rift. Now, we must press the advantage before our adversary can start to recover. I have been called to the front lines by Chancellor Kor himself to back up his attack on Parliament Alpha, seat of our enemy's government. It is an honor to fight alongside the Chancellor and witness him execute the decapitation strike that could already decide this war. Our target is in visual range. We have a clear view on the defensive zones that the Elop Alliance has set up to counter our forces. Between the searchlights and orbital cannons, Parliament Alpha is set as the stage for a battle that will long be remembered. Glory to Chancellor Kor, and glory to the Shakan. All right, so our goal is to conquer the Interplanetary Elop Senate. Uh, Pangea, okay. Large Pangea, so there's going to be a lot of players, but we're... Uh, Pangea, I guess, is a little bit of a disadvantage because we are an aquatic race. So we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. Hopefully this planet at least has rivers on it, though. The last one was not very hospitable, despite, ha <laughs> despite having a lot of water. Also curious to see how many players there will be and if any of them will be our ally. Given the story so far, uh, it would seem that, given the story so far, it would seem that we don't have uh, any allies outside of the Shikarn uh, race. I would imagine that it's just kind of us against everybody. Getting through the orbital crossfire of our enemies was rough, but now we are in a position to strike back. Everyone who made it down in one piece, gather up. The Chancellor is about to deliver his speech. The Thuriel stronghold crackled in flames and it burned for nine long weeks until it burst open, and its molten shards turned into slithering snakes that rained from the sky. Prokarn and Shizora watched their children plunge and spread into the sixteen seas, and they both smiled, for they knew that their offspring would make this world their own. Soldiers of the Scarlet Scepter, today is the day to recall the creation of our ancestors on Catalos, because today comes the moment when we must live up to their legend and lay claim to this galaxy. Our enemies are trapped. They are trembling in fear of the alien invaders that will come to plunder their homes, tear down their defenses. I say, let them wait no longer. Turn up your sonos. Focus your lasers. Tonight, we make the heavens weep. You've called me, my chancellor. Let me be the first to say that your words have been truly inspiring. I haven't seen any of my troops as motivated since the destruction of the Elop Void Reactor. Ah yes, General Naranga. It is good to finally meet you in person. As you know, the Scarlet Scepter has been very pleased with your achievements on Sladius II. And what better reward could there be than to share the glory of the upcoming victory when we storm the interplanetary Elop Senate side by side? Our enemy has mounted strong defensive installations. They need to be destroyed one by one before we attack the bases they are protecting. Once their facilities start falling into our hands, we dismantle them to fuel our own machinery of war. This way, we will grind them down to their last man. All right, conquer the Elop Senate and get 
probably not very much of a reward given how late in the game this is going to be. Always seems to be the case. I find these rewards to be kind of funny for, you know, destroy a player and get 17 cause by it. Uh, although I'm assuming this is, if it's an interplanetary senate, this is probably a neutral structure that's going to have a number of players around it. So take the interplanetary ELOP senate by any military means necessary. Without their political leaders, the ELOP confederation will fall into splinter factions that the Shakarn invasion force can take out one by one. Uh, Siegebreaker. The ELOP territory is fortified with Imperial defenses. These uh, Those structures provide additional combat support to your enemies and need to be raised to the ground. Imperial defense structures will get defended by the garrison of the colony or sector base they are connected to. So we have to destroy five Imperial defenses, and we get a refractor for that. Oh, tier three unit. I mean, that's pretty decent. Raid the sector bases of your enemy to weaken their supply lines and gain resources to upgrade and reinforce your armies. Uh, raising bases with an exploitation gives you resources corresponding to the income type of that exploitation. And then we also get a Sonokarn, which is our ultimate unit, if we can raise five enemy sectors. Okay. Four opponents, and I guess... Oh. Okay, our, um... Wow, that's, uh... Quite the, uh... Quite the army here. Is this what the AI starts with? You are in extreme difficulty. Hmm. Now we've got a... Unruly Yip Shelter, okay. You can win this map by conquering the, conquering the Elop Senate. It would be the decisive victory of the Scarlet Scepter against the Egalitarian, Egalitarian League of Planets. Okay. And the Chancellor is a Warmonger. He plays aggressively, focusing research on weapons and units specific to the race. They aim to increase the col their colony productivity to build more units. Understandable. Alright, and we are allied, of course. Shared vision, open borders, <clears throat> sharing intelligence, and then we did the same to him. Okay. What are all of these highlights here? Imperial defense, Imperial defense. Yeah, we got the same. I guess they're in different colors because they belong to different players. Yeah, we can see a border here and it's kind of cut off on the map. So presumably, everyone's against us. We'll see how this plays out. Hero leveled up. Okay, I guess we got reset on you as well. All right. Well, you're immune to stagger. You're also integrated, and if you die, you're revived. Hmm. Well, do I want both of my units to be commanders? Maybe. Let's... See, I have potentially two different armies here. Shakarn Purifier, Plasma Claws, interesting. So we have a melee. Hmm. I wonder. Well, let's have you both be commanders. So Fallout. Uh, probably heavy. Oh yeah, these are all heavy aside from the scout. So ground commander. Hmm. Quaking shields. Sure, we'll take that because you are melee. Personal weapons because you're melee. Uh, counterattack for the same reason. Hmm. And some health. Uh, 
and our commander Do we go Zardas just to be different? Because I think the other guys don't knock by default. Call Insider. Use a Zardas channel to call Sleeper Agent. Hmm. I guess I could actually do this to look, couldn't I? Uh, it's not actually showing me. Okay, if I do Zardas. Zardas Army. Uh, non hero units gain plus two resistance against status effect and. Universal Camouflage. Alright, whereas if I go Dulmok... Uh, non here, plus 10 crit and plus 5 max HP. Hmm. No, we'll go with Zardas. And you will be the infantry commander. Follow-up protocols is just always good. It's super cheap, it gives you defense on everybody. Call insider. Hmm. Personal weapons expert. And we do have a purifier gun if we wanted to, instead of 16 repeating. We could go with 18 single or 20 single, which is probably better, but we'll see. It depends on what um, tech we have. The sea is a maiden of... Okay, well, hopefully that'll be useful. Alright, so we've got our two military techs here. So if I eventually get fire mods, I might want to switch off of the lightning. What's this? Oh. A Shikarn tra Tactician. I guess I never actually looked at what these things do. Press the advantage. Target non-tactician friendly unit regains all action points. Okay, well we know that's super powerful. We've seen that abused before when playing as the Heritors. One of us all along, target enemy tier 1 or tier 2 unit, reveals that one of its own was a sleeper agent all along, which appears under your control in an adjacent hex. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, what do we actually want to do here? Well... We don't have that many troops, but we will get bonuses for attacking them, so I think backfilling maybe not the best strategy. However, we'll go back with our scouts. Now that you've received your well-deserved promotion for your display of cunning and skill on Sladius 2, I think it would be appropriate to finally ask your real name, Agent. What is the actual face beneath your holographic mask? Vastrix Zokla is at your command, General, and ready to move behind enemy lines. If there is any need to ridicule our opponents while we beat them, just say the word. I'll keep that in mind, Vastrix Zokla, but for now, your skill and experience are best put to use in one of our front strike commandos. In a war of this scale, there is little time for games and subterfuge. Okay, we could create a Volt Rifle. Hmm, Mind's Eye. Or just 32 production. I mean, 32 production is not a lot. Volt rifle. Maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, it'll be better than a Hasher SMG, which I guess means we're probably putting that on this hero. Yeah. Wait. Volt rifle confirm. There we go. This will give you a purifier gun, maybe? Sure. 
Wait, we've got an extra old jet back? Um, we might want to give that jetpack to the other hero, actually. What do you have? Harder hit by range. Yeah, I think we unequip that. Deploy whoops, deployable malware. I'll give you that. And we give you the jetpack. Because being able to jump around as a ranged... I mean, you have the other ability, but it's worth having. Uh, meeting the Therians, let's get a quest. Destroy. Kill for Kirko. Okay. Uh, do I want to go back this way? What are you guys guarding? A pirate hideout. You know what? I might actually just want to send my troops back and clear this before going forward. Because having a pirate hideout right next to my capital is not ideal. Oh, we found another Therian dwelling. So in that case, let's send this scout forward. We do not have river concealment. First Minister Tholian. A storm is coming. The vultures have left their nest amongst the mists to descend on the rotting remains of the once mighty Star Union. But where they see decay, new life has already begun to stir, and they that sowed the wind will reap nothing but the whirlwind. If there is one thing my brethren have proven in the past, it is that we will never cease to continue to fight for our freedom. By Rolk Quixler's horn and tail, no enemy shall withstand the fury of the swarm when the Kirko colonies unite to defend their homes. Peace is the most valued achievement of the Gitalian League of Planets. However, when war knocks at our door, we will barricade our gates and defend this peace for all that it is worth. Not all of us Amazons care about the world outside our perfect gardens, yet those of us who are blessed with the curiosity to venture out and study all aspects of life have found that such gardens can exist in many shapes and forms. We are not afraid of predators. Good, let the Elop commanders snarl and growl with all their might. There is no glory in beating a feeble foe. Alright, and with that, we... Wait, is this unknown? Interesting. Thought that, so... One of those was not a commander, or one of them hasn't seen me, I guess. Alright, so we have Kirko, Vanguard, Amazon, and another one. Hmm. Well, we could rush that way, but I really want to take out the pirate nest. This might be a mistake. Take the food. Because it's a biodome in a potentially decent district. Alright, Capital, what are you gonna do? Do we just go production because that's what we do? Do we just go food because that kind of makes sense? I don't think energy or research makes sense this early. So do I want to build things faster, or do I want to grow? I think I want to grow. Because I already have quite a few units. In fact, I have more units than I can afford. Hmm. 
That's what a firebrand looks like, is it? Okay, you can annex. Uh, this looks like a pretty good first sector. Double food and happiness. If we go here, I mean, this is worth more food than that. Well, let's uh, let's clear this first, and then figure out where we're going from there. Okay, get some energy. Now we've got multiple movement here we can do. Objective completed. All right. Ooh, we lost a unit. I don't think so. This might be a rough mission in terms of military. That's the hollow mend. Two hex range, torrent of flame. Hmm. And you have Omni Claw, Omni Shot at range 5, and Staggering Force, Ram Target with a Shield. Okay. Chance to concuss, that's always good. melee, right? Yeah, basically. A firebrand probably can't use... Yeah, juggernaut, large target, cannot take cover. Yeah. haven't hollow shifted yet. I could. I don't think there's really any reason to do you. But I want to hollow shift into an enforcer. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, this is a range of five. I guess I could have... Could have done that somewhere else. Actually, let's see what the uh, sleeper agent does. Literally just summons a sleeper agent. Okay. we'll just move forward. I don't think any of them have AoE.
missions available for Prime. Okay. Well, you can... No, you can't actually get close. Hmm. Reaction. However, if we do this... Then we can be really silly. That's an insane amount of mobility. Oh, this is Cleave? Wow. Glad I gave him that weapon at the end of the last mission, then. Cattle for the slaughter. Okay. You have no more movement. Okay. Well, let's just get these guys. Missed. Okay. Well, we're done with that. That group. Oh, you have melee overwatch. How did I miss that? It's because you're... All right, so you um might actually be a more decent unit than I first thought then. You are extremely low on movement. Are you slowed? You're crippled. Okay. I was looking at this. Like, 16 movement points seems pretty bad. Only 50%. Uh, high frequency blast or reverberating dagger. Well, cattle for the slaughter. I guess I could have deployed the. Oh, I didn't. Couldn't deploy the malware demon because I was doing sleeper agent last time. Okay. You also get a move. Oh, you have follow shift. That's kind of funny. Hmm. It'll be destroyed. So you're gonna try to do something and trigger. Enemy down. Trigger the Overwatch. Now, for some reason, I thought the Malware Demon was actually going to have an ability and not just. Oh, if it's destroyed, it attempts to mind control. That's how that works. Right. I'd forgotten about that detail. Okay. Uh, does anybody have a heal? I mean, you do. Single action, range 5. And I guess that's all we really needed to do there. You actually hit something! Superior once more. All right, well, that looks a little bit better. Starting to get some uh, levels on my units as well, which is always good. 
taking this out. Do I want a Jet of Dismay? Secondary weapon to induce panic? No, we'll take the, uh, the money. Okay, so selling it, I guess that was plus 50. There's a broadcast station. I could try to conquer this. Hmm. Where do I go? I think we annex this. Uh, we're out of movement anyway. But this is some pretty tough... These are some pretty tough units. So if we're going to clear this, now is the time. Well, what's it look like in here? <clears throat> Laser tank, two gunships, a pug, and two troopers. Hmm. Yeah, I think if we send our main hero in there, or even just you. Yeah, we can send this squad in next turn and it should be fine. Hey, leveled up again. No, you can also call Insider. Personal defense expert. Make you even tank here. First strike. I mean, that would be pretty good, too. Okay, we'll do that. Defense expert first. Production ready. Hmm. Produce more units or get another recon or get our colonizer started. Silly question. Uh oh. Uh okay. Could be worse. Uh, how much do I really care? I'm surprised I'm not at war with them already, to be honest. But we'll explore back here. Oh. That's not bad. Uh, we will take the site, though. Take vision on the worker. It's always just nice to have. And here... Um, maybe we do that? I'll probably do food first. Not seeing. Oh, there's something. Oh, that looks that looks like a colonizer. Come, General Naranga. There is something I want you to see. The Chancellor switches on a monitor, which is transmitting live footage from inside a remote testing chamber. A human soldier is standing motionless in the middle of the empty room. There are fleshy tendrils sprouting from the back of his head. Our scientists have been experimenting with this xenoplague parasite over the past few weeks. It is an interesting study to see how symbiosis with the alpha strain can channel the attributes and behavior of its host, or change. In the past, it has always proven to be a tedious task to govern and occupy races conquered by the Scarlet Scepter. How often did we have to put down rebellions or relocate the population of entire planets? With the right use of the xenoplague, however, all that could change. A series of commands are transmitted into the testing chamber. In accordance with them, without any sign of emotion, the soldier moves to the different corners of the room. Imagine that. Instead of setting up a complete military occupation, we release a specific variant of the Alpha Strain on the target population. A variant that changes their behavior patterns, suppressing any urges to dissent or rebel, while at the same time enhancing their physical capabilities. 
the perfect worker slaves would be born. What a thorough and definitive solution, my Chancellor. Your wisdom and vision continue to serve as an inspiration for Alshakarn. How long do you expect it to still take until this new Alpha Strain variant will be ready? Surely this is still all at an early stage. On the contrary, General, I expect the first large-scale field tests to commence soon. It is the scientific project of highest priority in the Empire and has the most brilliant and loyal researchers dedicated to it. So I wonder if this guy is Xenoplague. That would make sense. You're very fortunate. These surely are blessed times for the Scarlet Scepter and its leaders. What? My, char my character is showing doubt? Weakling. I have faith in your leader. Oh yeah, he's already got postals. Yep, definitely Xenoplague. Sector annexed. Unexploited sector. Food. Looks good to me. And then we run down this way in order to get onto the road so that we can go up this way and steal a Kirko colonizer unit. Or more likely we let them settle so they spend the they spend the resources on it and then we just take the unit from them. Take the city from them once they've built it. Hmm. So with that in mind. Now there's some loot around here. I can grab a few things. Show location, and there's a power plant. Okay. <laughs> oh, we found water. Hmm. That's pretty far back. I mean, I could build a couple of, uh, you know, settle in Cockroach Haven. That sounds like a, a wonderful place to build. Uh, nothing yet. This is complete two quests. I wonder who we're going to have on this planet aside from the Therians. I haven't seen anyone else yet. Okay, looks like they're building there. Incoming communication. Purity is strength. I am glad we share that settlement uh, sentiment. Xenophobe warmonger. Okay. And Xenoplag, I just know everything about you. Monocultural, I mean, that's probably what I'm going to do anyway. Pacifist. Prefers dealing with players with a low combat ranking and players with a high reputation. Dislikes players that have defeated other players. Well, I don't think she's going to like me very much in the end of, by the end of this. Hmm. I mean, that is... Decent. Like, if we settle down here... The advantage of settling down here is it kind of creates a, a wall. However, I think they're settling here. And I kind of want to just attack them and take it. Well, if it's just a bronze landmark, I should be able to take that. Hmm. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to separate our armies. Uh, did I? Looks good to me. We're going to separate our armies, 
and assume that this army can take that by itself, hopefully. And in the meantime, we're going to declare war on the Kirko. Alright, research. Research and production. Grab some extra movement and more research. Okay, that's a good, good haul today. And I guess we'll come back this way and you can reinforce the army as well if we need it. Now there's Cosmite up there, which is adjacent to this. Maybe we settle here? Hmm, that's in the wrong... Wrong sector. Settle on the Cosmite might be good. Well, we'll see. It depends on what's in this area. I guess we can rush you up. So we need to know pretty soon. Uh, ta tactical Protection Protocol gives me the Purification Field, which is an amazing mod. Emergency Shielding. Yeah, amazing because it's a free action that heals and removes status. To self or adjacent. Uh, emergency Shielding is just an operation. It's fine. Hazmat. Eh. I'll take it for that first option. And before I end the turn, I almost just made a mistake. Never made mistakes before in this game. Uh, portable scanners. Get that sight range up. So we can see this far, and then we should be able to see two more over. At the start of my next turn. Okay, looks like they did settle. And then they moved my screen anyway. Giants Perihelion. Perihelions are generally nothing special, but this time it's a little different. Our closest approach of the star coincides with the approach of our largest neighbor, massive gas giant. The sheer mass of the gas giant is actually affecting the gravitational pull of this planet. All units gain fast movement. Weird. Okay. Oh. I misunderstood this this whole time. That makes more sense. It's not plus two vision range, it's plus two sensor range. Well, hmm. Actually, this is almost not even worth getting. Okay, I did screw up. Uh, you have... Expanded, I think is what that one was. Oh, there are Therians here. Okay, I didn't need my army there at all. Sixteen base, however, because we are amphibious. Land and water. It doesn't say, but I'm assuming we just moved faster on the river. Contact commander. Declare war with Major Kazus Belli. We could have checked to see what their... Um, what their relationship was before I did that. Yeah, it looks like fast movement doesn't make a difference here. It's just gonna matter. 
once I'm actually in combat. Alright, well... Provisional weapon augments. Reaction, damage 20% for two turns. Okay. Deciding which way you want to face. 54, okay. Yeah, I've got to double check the vision on these things because I don't remember their vision increasing in the previous mission when I was using this. I just kind of assumed it had and I wasn't noticing things properly. But now that we've uh, double checked that, I'm confident I was just. It's not as good as I initially thought it was. Okay, uh, there is a Stadium Arcadium down here. Also guarded by. Excellent. Okay. Ah, one off. Well, that's where we will go. Hopefully they don't have a million units here by the end of the turn. They shouldn't have fast movement yet. Well, they have an army. Was I at war with them? Like, I declared formal war a turn in advance, because I thought it took a turn to change. But maybe I didn't need to. Or maybe I could have just not declared a formal war and, uh, been all scummy about it. That probably would have been the smarter choice, given that I am... If I wanted to roleplay as espionage, I, why did I do the honorable thing? That was dumb. Oh well. Incoming communication. Yeah, they're, they're angry, but... Production ready. But of course they are. Okay, grow faster, that's the whole point of this. Happiness event in colony. You want the hopper hound nest destroyed? Sounds good to me. Full so we got our food. Do we just go straight for colony infrastructure? Get that cosmite coming in? Maybe. Oh, you lost a unit. This is a bit ridiculous, though. Okay, it looks like Autonom might be on the planet. That was a lot of Autonom there. Hmm. Well. Found the colony. Okay, you guys can go clear that. Ah, uh, no. You're still weak. Okay. Unless you have... Yeah, you did have one hidden. Ah, uh, you're still weak. It is time, General Naranga. The moment to test the new Alpha strain on the masses has come. Give the order to pillage the city and we can relocate the inhabitants to our prepared testing grounds. Are you certain, my Chancellor, that it is necessary to abduct the entire population of this colony? Surely enough data can still be gathered if we limit our tests to a smaller set of individuals. Someone needs to be left to kneel down at our victory parades, after all. Why think small when we have an entire planet of test subjects at our disposal? The new Alpha strain is ready, and the only good way to test the effectiveness of a bioagent is to throw it on the masses. But that's enough hesitation. Do it, General Naranga. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do it. As you wish, my Chancellor. Charge the Omni-Weapon soldiers. We have a city to incinerate. Obedience is key. Chancellor Kor has asked you to raise the conquered colony and send its inhabitants to his prepared testing area. I was really hoping to have the city. But, uh, you know, he's he's in charge of the army and will follow the proper change of, chain of command. Uh, conquered colony raised. Which will take... Uh, I guess I have to manually do this. Okay. And now that we've leveled up... Uh-huh, what do we actually want to do here? Personal defense expert. I do like taking this. Uh, you took a lot of damage, too. 
Deadly Sight or Vitality. Uh, we'll take the health. And you, of course, leveled up because you are very low level. You don't need that much experience. We're not going to make you a commander. You're going to be support. Compromising mechanical and cyborg units in an area. Hmm. Hmm. Sure, we'll do that. And health. Uh, while I'm here, I might as well give you hard light systems so you can cause extra stagger with your weapons. And I guess we'll give you this, because you have a slot free and I have it. Probably should have done those before the fight, but oh well. Four ninety. Oh, did we just run in and start purging? Maybe. Imperial defense. Need to raise a bunch of stuff. Okay. Well, you know, since I've got these amazing sensors on these things, maybe I'll have them fly around to sort of keep an eye on things so I don't get ambushed too hard. Starward Station, Spaceport. This is gold. Yeah, that's... Oh, this is an amazing production sector. Assuming that we can conquer everything in it. Looks like a big army. Hmm. Crush these and run. Uh, where was it? Here. Accelerated force deployment has the transit infrastructure, which makes you faster on roads. That's what I'm assuming they don't have yet. Scanning biomass. Unknown organic, database corrupted, etc., etc. Do we want to be friends with the Autonom, or do we want to crush them and get a bunch of rewards for it? I feel like you get more rewards for being allied. Empire task completed. Uh, don't have a sector specialization yet. Wait, really? But we have a level four. Oh, we have a level four from that. That's why. Okay. Colony established. Do we grow growth here as well? No, maybe we go production here. Incoming communication. Hmm. One. Really just going scorched earth here. Feels a little bit wasteful.
Uh, we can go into an enforcer still. Is that what we want, or do we want the trans? I think we want the transcendent. So we'll wait on that. Oh, we can just go through that way. Hmm. Packing all my units up was uh, not the best choice, apparently. Alright, let's try this. I've never used it. Fix up a bunch of things. We are now transcendent. Sword pain, sonic mending. Graze, and they got a crit. Are you serious? What the heck was that? Right, that's a thing. I need to kill you with a lot of things. Hmm. I can't augment myself. Okay. That's unfortunate. Cattle for the slaughter. We did stagger them. So that's good. crits they're getting, I have to say. Not... Hmm. Well... Cattle for the slaughter. We lost a unit. Our forces are victorious. Really, probably shouldn't have lost anything in that fight. Capture forward base, raise. Uh, they can move pretty far. Four ninety. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, if I move to here, or hard to say, I might still have movement to step away, so let's risk it. Oh, it's... I thought after that last fight it was an hour, and then... No, I'm still going. Okay, well... Yeah, it's the same thing we just fought. Now, everybody has fast movement, so that's uh, something to keep in mind. So we're going to keep the summoned units up front this time. Hmm, absorb pain. 33, 36. You're gonna vomit here? No, oh, I couldn't get that far. Come on now. This is not going particularly well. Okay, I can kill you with that. I also really want to do this, but I think I just need the damage. What just happened? Reactive phase defense. Oh. You put the operation. That's right, you put an operation on it. Hmm. Could hollow shift, grab another one of these, and then I'd have another healer. We're okay though. That's fine. Right, we only get one hit. Is that only on range or is it every time you're hit? Every time it takes damage. Okay, well, let's just kill this thing. Staggered it. Let's 
stagger and concuss. Actually, let's just run around. That's very silly. Superior once more. Okay, so as long as I'm playing it out carefully, I shouldn't be losing. Raise that. And I can't get off, but I can move into the water. Okay, well, hopefully I don't get attacked by everybody. If I do, this might be a very short mission. Hmm. Deadly Sight. Do you not have attack range? Wait, you already have Dead Eye 3? You just started with it? Oh, that's amazing. Okay, well. Get some damage. And. I guess I sh should really just be done here. So let's be done. We have started burning this. It's going to burn down in two more turns. We've burned a few more things here. I'm mostly just curious to see what happens when we unleash the Xenoplague. Maybe that's what this player is going to be. We're going to create a Xenoplague player. Or maybe this is the one that showed up in the starting dialogue. But you'd think they'd have seen me by now. I don't know. Anyway, I'll continue burning everything to the ground next time. I will see you then.